So there is something very interesting happening that's going on exactly right now with the next generation iPhone SE. So essentially, if we go ahead and rewind back, the concept of the whole entire iPhone SE lineup was pretty much using older iPhone parts and creating a brand new iPhone. So this is something that honestly has stood the test of time. We look at the first generation iPhone SE, it copied the iPhone 5S which was a flagship from before. We see the iPhone SE 2020 that kind of copied the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8. And then we look at the iPhone SE 3. I don't know what Apple's trying to do there, but a very interesting report came out the other day stating that Apple has not finalized details. This is from Mac rumors for the iPhone SE 4 display. They say it could go from as low as 5.7 inches to as big as 6.1 inches. And they mentioned that OLED and LCD screens are under construction. So why is this important? Well, for one, we are pretty much almost confirming that the iPhone SE 4 is going to be bigger than the iPhone SE 2 and 3, which I'm really happy about. But the interesting thing is, is that they mentioned the 5.7 inch display. The iPhone 10 that came out, you know, back in 2017, was kind of the first iPhones that actually ended up bringing that 5.8 inch display. So it's weird that they mentioned the 5.7 inch because that doesn't really make too much sense. They wouldn't go lower than currently what the iPhone 10 is unless they were to add more bezel. Now, why do I bring up the iPhone 10? Well, like I said, the iPhone 10 had a 5.8 inch display, which was pretty close to 5.7 inches. But also, realistically speaking, there hasn't been another iPhone around that 5.7 inch, you know, basically 5.8 inches since the iPhone 11 Pro. If my mind isn't mistaking me, the only other one we gotten that was kind of lower was like the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 13 mini. Since the iPhone 12, Apple got rid of that 5.8 inch design. So could it be that Apple has actually kept some of the iPhone 10 bodies, maybe the iPhone 10s bodies as well? And are they actually going to potentially recycle that design for the iPhone SE 4? That could honestly make a lot of sense to me as well. If they were to go ahead and recycle the iPhone 10 design, I mean, this would be the way I would look at it. They would be able to market it as, you know, once a flagship design that still looks very good. It is a smaller phone than the iPhone 12. So it would sit in between the iPhone 12 and iPhone, you know, SE3. And because they probably already have some of these bodies laying around, it wouldn't take too much money or too much time to, you know, make a bunch of these devices. It would probably still have a wide and telephoto lens, which would kind of be a disadvantage. But that would kind of be a reason people would go and switch up to the iPhone 12. And I could see people, you know, honestly going from an iPhone, you know, SE4 like that to an iPhone 12. So maybe Apple could still sell the iPhone 12 alongside it. I'm not too sure. But there is a chance that Apple could end up basically taking an iPhone 10, recycling the internals, maybe adding a better camera system, but still maintaining that telephoto lens, and then pretty much recycling it. I think that wouldn't be, you know, a crazy thing to think about considering the fact that Apple, you know, the iPhone SE lineup has pretty much been that since the beginning. So... I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.